Okay, we're going to begin with our webinar now. Connecting with World Classrooms via Skype. How to set up Skype Talks. At the end of this webinar, you will be directed to our website where you can download this presentation and actually print your certificate of attendance. You will find this, uh, do you see where the red arrow points, where it says more. This is where the certificates are located. Also, you can get a complete copy of this webinar where it says webinar handouts. Recording of this webinar is strictly forbidden. Skyping. Have you Skyped before? Have you ever thought of Skyping with a foreign classroom? Well, believe it or not, it is not as hard as you may think to find contacts to Skype with. Um, if you look at the picture on the screen, there's one of my students Skyping with a young lady in Argentina. And I'm going to show you how to get this accomplished. Okay. Uh, foreign language standards, of course, must be observed as we teach anything in our classrooms. Uh, standard 5 for modern foreign languages asks for students to participate in multicultural communities at home and around the world. Also, they are to show evidence that they use the foreign language for personal enjoyment. So Skyping can certainly cover that standard. Okay, when uh, we first became interested in Skyping, uh, my class uh, thought they should enter a video contest for ACT for a couple years ago, and uh, they thought they would do their contest on Skyping. So let's watch that for a minute. Hey friends from camp, join me in a video chat so we can catch up. Ich habe dich von uns Jesse, wie geht das dir? I'm great! Hey, Pyle's online too! Gem schon mal in deiner Foto gemacht. Estamos todos in der Linie a la misma vez. I'm so glad that I'm learning foreign languages so we can talk to each other. Hey, by the way, can we do this the same time next week so you all can help me out on my culture project for a world history class? Bis später! Hasta luego. I have high definition video. Um, however, quite good results. So, can we even Skype from school? Well, first of all, you will have to talk to your IT person and make sure that uh, Skype is not blocked from your school. Uh, you can use your personal laptop, of course, with webcam and microphone. Or you can buy a webcam for the school computer and uh, you can also purchase an external microphone because most of your desktops in uh, school, of course, do not have microphones. Be sure to hook up the laptop or your computer to the Promethean board or uh, just a screen and projector so all the students will be able to see. Make sure that you have some high quality speakers. So how can we find a classroom to Skype with us? Well, the secret site actually is not so secret. It is http colon slash slash education.skype.com On this site you can join a project or you can create your own. So if you scan through the different projects offered you may uh, find them very interesting actually and you might get some ideas of your own. Um, there's one called Como Estas? Middle School English Spanish Exchange. So how do you set up a session? Well, first of all, you need to request teachers to add you as a contact. It's sort of like on uh, Facebook where 
if you're not somebody's friend, then they can't be your friend either. So you have to accept each other as contacts. You have to pay attention to when they come online. And so then you start chatting with them on the instant messenger. Don't, don't ever uh, press the video call button and just randomly Skype somebody. This is just not done. So what you need to do is initiate your contacts, your contacts on the instant messenger. Use simple language to get started because a lot of them, of course, seeing that they are living in foreign countries, use English as a second language. So then get them to narrow down a time to Skype with uh, your class. So this could take a while and it might take a whole page of exchanges before you finally come up with a suitable time. Um, so keep it simple and uh, also make sure that you keep up with updates. Um, email them also and you can discuss dates and times to Skype uh, via email. Uh, recording your Skype conversation. You'll be so excited when you have your first Skype talk set up that uh, you certainly want to record this. So uh, what you can do is you can get a recording service which usually costs money or you can simply videotape the conversation with a digital camera. Make sure you darken the room a little bit so the Promethean board or your screen that is can be seen clearly. Okay, so we had a first Skype session with a class in Mexico. Um, we scheduled a meet and greet session. This was the other teacher's idea. Uh, remember the time delay. When you say something, you have to wait till it arrives over there. It's not instant. You must speak slowly and clearly. Tell the students to speak up and try not to be shy. And uh, when you're done, discuss what surprised the students the most about Skyping with a foreign classroom. So my students had lots of reactions to our Skype talks. Um, they were quite surprised how wild and crazy this uh, school in Mexico actually acted. Uh, they spoke English so well, much better than my students would ever speak Spanish. They clapped a lot. Uh, we were surprised about the teacher's relaxed attitude about the Skype. How similar they were to us in uh, clothing styles, attitudes, music, and hairstyles. Um, the students had a very nice school. My students had envisioned some kind of one-room uh, schoolhouses, but this was definitely not the case. Um, that our planned introductions went out the window and we finally just ended up chatting. So uh, we were also surprised that they had absolutely no fear to meet new people. My students are from a small county in East Tennessee and they were quite shy at first, but these uh, kids just uh, didn't hold back. They said anything they were thinking. Um, personal questions they asked. Uh, they, they even sang a song for one of my students. Um, our project was to compare high schools from Spanish-speaking countries to our schools. So we pulled their program of studies from their websites and we compared it with ours. We generated a set of 15 generic questions to ask and um, we uh, tried to keep the relationship alive with these uh, students because uh, once you have uh, contact, okay, it's not a one-time shot, okay, what you want to do is you want to keep calling back and see how throughout the year your students progress. So the next step was that we Skype with a school in Guatemala. This was an international baccalaureate girls school. Um, my students were quite surprised about how different these girls were, uh, how differently they behaved in Guatemala versus these students in Mexico. Um, after reciting a short poem to us, one of those Adolfo Becker ones, and interpreting it for us in Spanish as well as in English, they patiently answered all our questions. The Guatemalan girls were quite respectful and waited while someone was speaking. They obviously had Skyped before, so they knew about the time delay. 
Um, the students were well behaved, spoke mostly in Spanish and allowed us to talk. It was much more organized and an overall better experience than the Skype to Mexico. It just wasn't as wild. And we learned a lot about their cultures, their beliefs. They spoke a lot about uh, food and their educational program. They were more polite, more formal. And uh, we, of course, were prepared this time uh, as were they. Um, the Guatemalan girls were wearing uniforms while the Mexican students were actually wearing name brand clothing. The Guatemalan class was more prepared to speak to us and had very good answers to our questions. They spoke in Spanish rather than in English. Uh, they were calmer. They talked a lot in Spanish. So what was next? Well, we actually Skyped with a school in Spain. Um, this was in Ibiza. Do you all know what Ibiza is? Let's see. It's down here. Okay. Um, so uh, these uh, students got with us several times and we were quite excited because it was a small group and they were completely patient with us and English was just about uh, as bad as our Spanish. So uh, we had a big discussion with them if band was a sport. They got a good laugh out of that. Um, so the reaction to the Skype talk to Spain, English was just as hard for them as Spanish for us. It was a good way to learn how people in other countries speak. The girls seemed shy. Um, I liked watching their facial expressions when they didn't understand us. Um, they were quite close to the computer, so we could see their very facial expressions. <laughs> It made me want to learn Spanish more fluently. Awesome, good sound quality. We learned the difference in their pronunciation. Of course, they had the uh, Castilian Spanish. So our project conclusions were as follows. Uh, schools require more foreign language classes. There is greater interest and motivation in learning other languages. They have similar interests and personalities. They are very outgoing and enthusiastic. They are very interested in our personal lives. They are surprisingly comfortable with technology. They have similar school schedules. Nobody worked after school. And let's see if I move this screen up. They have fewer breaks and vacations. And soccer is clearly the most popular sport. Okay, so be open to the possibilities. Um, the teacher from Mexico invited us to do a rally with his students, so the idea was that four teams from our school were supposed to compete with four teams from their school in a collaborative activity. However, this uh, definitely did not work out because in my classroom I was only able to connect two computers which were actually my desktop and my personal laptop we could not get anybody else's computer to connect so you will definitely have connection problems um, if you think you can get your entire class like for example on iPads and everybody's on there Skyping to a different person in a foreign country this is just not going to work out so you will probably gonna have you are going to have to limit it to one or two computers in your class at any one time. Okay, so what's next? We uh, did a phase two, which this time we called our project Classroom Connect. Um, Classroom Connect, actually, um, it says on there that two people joined this project, but we ended up with over 10 people joining this project, and we finally got more context than I could ever use. Um, and... Uh, so it was getting to even manage, but we found some favorite, uh, some favorite Skype contacts that we kept contact with the entire school year. Here you can see my uh, third year Spanish class. Okay, so um, like I said, you need to gather contacts as you post a project, and then decide which ones of these would you like to actually work with. Um, this guy uh, in uh, Argentina, 
also Skype with us. Um, you see how the uh, instant messenger will go on and on. This is just a little clip of it. So normally you have one or two entire pages that you uh, just talk on the instant messenger before you finally narrow down when you will be able to speak. So we did, as a matter of fact, uh, speak to him and these are my night class students actually uh, from my uh, college class speaking to Pablo in Argentina. And then uh, we spoke several times with Florencia in Argentina. She's my absolute favorite Skype uh, Skyping partner. Because whenever I want any class to get the Skyping experience, I will call her. Uh, well, I will type on the instant messenger uh, and I'll ask her if a certain time is available. And she's extremely flexible and just super nice. Um, we also tried uh, pen pals. So uh, we found some pen pal contacts in Zaragoza, Spain. So here's a picture of them. On the left, you see my students. On the right side, the school in Spain. So we actually created a virtual trip to visit them in Zaragoza, Spain, which was pretty crazy. Um, was that talking to Omar's class in Mexico? You can see they're pretty happy. Okay, so with whom will you Skype? I hope by now you got some ideas um, that you would want to get set up on Skype and uh, browse, browse other teachers' projects from around the world. It will simply amaze you what they are doing. You can join an existing project or post your own and just wait for responses. Uh, search, you can also search for teachers by countries. Now, not every country has Skype available, but uh, most Spanish-speaking countries actually do. Um, also, you could try to contact top people in your field on their websites and see if they would like to Skype with your class. Or, of course, uh, if your school has a video conferencing uh, equipment, you can certainly utilize that. Okay, there's some excellent... Uh, research papers out on Skyping and uh, if you look at uh, my website you can download these articles and you can investigate more about Skyping and the benefits thereof to your classroom. Um, I will now open the discussion for questions. Um, if anybody would like to unmute themselves um, or you can uh, type in your question and I would be happy to answer your questions. Um, I'll put a QR code up for you to scan. This will lead straight to our website, http uh, colon slash slash edproconsultants.weebly.com. Thank you for participating in our webinar.